One of the things that has been particularly interesting in the debate around how we treat kids, whether we treat them in the adult system or in the juvenile system, is the uh, addition of neuroscience. And neuroscience has come into the debate to help us understand a little bit more about why kids behave in the way that they do and to understand some of the biological reasons for their behavior. Prior to the neuroscience entering into the conversation, we had all sorts of behavioral studies that talked about kids being impulsive, being subject to peer pressure, perhaps being driven by emotion rather than being driven by mature judgment. And what we now have is neuroscience explaining that. We have brain research that explains that a part of the brain that is uh, important to uh, the controlling of your impulses, uh, important to uh, the exercise of mature, mature judgment, that part of your brain doesn't develop until your mid to late 20s. And so when what we see as bizarre behavior among teenagers is actually perfectly consistent with the fact that the part of the brain that controls those impulses and controls the, that behavior hasn't yet fully developed.